Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. I am currently under the weather with a cold, so I'm very congested. <laughs> This is just gonna be my voice for the next few days. We checked into the cutest Airbnb in upstate New York. It's like an old Georgian farmhouse or Georgian styled home that used to be a farmhouse and now it's just like somebody's Mommy, look. spare home. That is doing a flip, wow. But it's like really, really it. old. It's so cool. There's so much history in this area and Hudson Valley itself has really, really old homes. And it's just like a lot bigger than I thought. We are technically here because we want to do a little, I say staycation, it's not staycation. We're not in Montreal, clearly. But it's not far from where we live. It was like a four hour drive. Yeah, we're, we're here technically to do some cute gender reveal stuff. Mommy. Um, yes. All right, so we just got back in from town and we took our gender reveal photo slash video thing and we're having a... All right, we set up this backdrop for a shoot. I self tan last night because I need to wear like a specific dress. I put on like darker foundation. So I think it like looks somewhat okay. I'm not as washed out from behind. I'm excited. Ooh, we got our cake. I am so excited. We're gonna use wine glasses to see the gender, but we're gonna make it really private. I'm so excited about this. How cute is this cake? I don't know why I'm so nervous for this. Either way, like it does not matter what the gender is. We're just so excited to have a baby. But like for Arky, we're thinking it would be so fun to have a brother, but then it would also be so fun to have a sister. So realistically, either way, it's gonna be so exciting. I have no idea what it is. A lot of people in my life think it's a girl because my pregnancy has been so different, but I don't believe in that because my mom had two completely different pregnancies and both girls. I have had a friend that had the exact same pregnancy with both and she had a girl and a boy. So I don't know, I don't think that's like a thing. There was like a part of me that my gut was a boy, but like, I actually don't know. And I'm always wrong with my guesses, like for anyone. Every time someone's pregnant, I'm like, they're having a girl and it's a boy. So I don't know for me, <laughs> cause I'm so bad at this. Good. Okay, last guess, are okay. blue or don't pink? Do what do you yet. think? Blue. Don't do it You yet. think blue? You said pink before. Let's wait. Pink. You think pink? <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Push. <gasps> it's pink! Oh! Aren't you pink? Oh We're gonna have a sister! <gasps> We're gonna have a girl! We're gonna have a sister! <laughs> what do you think? No, yeah. it's What do you have? Are you happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> I wanted a girl. Yeah? I think so. Why am I reacting like this? What? You're happy. It's a lot of like anxious excitement. Because there's no wrong answer. It's more just like the anticipation of really. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're gonna have a little sister. And it's gonna be hard. My cousin Sophia literally before I told her I was pregnant had a dream that I was holding a baby girl. <gasps> and that I was pregnant and it was a girl. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a girl. <laughs> We're having a girl. I, I thought the entire cake was gonna be the color. I'm happier this way because it was like, as I was digging, I was like, what is it, what is it, what is it? <laughs> Girl! Girl! <laughs> I'm still wearing the pink shirt from the photo shoot. <laughs> We're so excited. I know so many of you guys guessed it. Are you happy? You're so excited? Yeah, when, I'm so when excited. we did the cake, I was like, eh, so happy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We were saying before, because Dan, you said you never really knew what you wanted until you no, know. same with Arkham, but then like when that color came up, it was like, oh, I think that was what I deep down wanted. Yeah. But I couldn't think about it. That like was before. kind of how I felt with both as same. well. Yeah. Obviously, we just care about having a healthy baby, but so it is really exciting to know what the sex of the baby is and just get everything prepared. We found out kind of early, like the same time as Arky around the 12 week mark. Don't mind me just doing my makeup. <laughs> and so yeah, it's just very exciting to be able to shop for baby girl and get some fun little onesies and stuff like that. Cause we have a lot of stuff still from Arky, although I did <laughs> give a lot of it to my sister-in-law who just had her baby. So we'll be able, I guess, to still kind of use some of those things, but it is really exciting to get some girl clothes because I have to be honest, there's so many 
cuter options for girls than there are for boys. I still love to shop for Arky. Like I think there's so many cute boys clothes, but I feel like there's so many more options for girls. So it's just been really fun. And obviously as my kids get older, they can dress the way they want. But right now, I get to dress her and I'm so excited about it and to have a daughter like I'm so excited just to know what she looks like what her personality is like I grew up in a family with lots of girls and now we're just a lot of women so it's fun to kind of add to that and on Dan's side like all of his siblings and all of my I have mainly all nephews on his side of the family and just one niece so now we get to have another girl to add to the boy side which is going to be really fun and i just think no matter what like as long as my kids are happy that's all that matters to me but yeah we're very 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 excited as for names we do not officially have a name yet we have a few that we really like that are top contenders i think we're going to wait till she's here before we make the decision for some reason i have way more boys names on my list than girls i find girls harder because I don't know why I'm the only one out of all my friends that thinks this everyone always has a way bigger girl name list but if you if there's any names that you like for girls let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know maybe we'll use one but before we get into the rest of the vlog I do want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor which is better help I absolutely love BetterHelp. I've been working with them for years now. I've also been using them for years. And I'm sure most of you are aware, are aware, but with big changes in life comes obviously a lot of mental and emotional hurdles. And going through just years of infertility and not ever knowing if we were gonna come out on the other side and just kind of fixing my life in 2023, I was just focusing on myself and who I was as a person after motherhood and postpartum i really felt like i was in a good good place and so it was just perfect timing when this pregnancy did happen and then going through the first trimester which if you've watched that video you know how challenging that was for me so i think better help is just a perfect option for anyone that's looking for therapy it is online everything is done from the comfort of your own home you basically when you sign up you just do a little survey so that they can see exactly what your needs are and they'll be able to match you with a licensed therapist that will specialize in that need so like if you're struggling postpartum or during a pregnancy or in a relationship or just stuff from your past and you want to talk about work environment anything like that i think that is just such a good option it is a lot more affordable than the things you'll find in your area and everything is just so organized through your phone or on your laptop you can do it from like i said the comfort of your own home or if you're out and about and you need a session for therapy you can just sit in your car obviously when you're not driving and just talk to your therapist for an hour. You can communicate with them directly through the website. It is not a self-help crisis line. It is just to organize your like, appointments and just chat with your therapist one-on-one. -on -one. They usually respond within the first 48 hours. And if you don't match with the first person, like if you don't vibe with the first person you match with, you can always change it. There's no fee for that at all. And they will not be offended. So don't be embarrassed if it is something like, it needs to click. And I say this every video, it needs to click with a therapist, but I freaking love my therapist. Like so much i think working out your brain is just as important as working out the rest of your body and going through really tumultuous times there's nothing i recommend more so in a transition period like this for me myself it is just it feels so good every time i'm done a session um even if the session is challenging so i will have a link listed down below for you to click but you can go to betterhelp.com slash chentomo, which is my last name, to get 10% off your first month of therapy. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash chentomo for 10% off your first month. <laughs> I feel like I need a session right now, like right this second, because I am just in a state of like, I feel so sick and so tired and so pregnant and I just want to vent and complain but sometimes I feel guilty about doing that to my partner or to the camera because it's like I'm very blessed in this life and I'm very happy and overall in a very good situation but like there are those feelings inside of me and if I didn't have a therapist to express that too i feel like i would just sound like a broken record with everyone in my life and i probably would not get any better because 
it's nice to have someone listen to you vent, but I actually like to be proactive about things and like what can I do to help myself in these situations. So things I've learned in the past are just to put myself first in these situations. So right now, instead of going back out on the town, I'm going to rest, lie down on the couch, drink a bunch of water, maybe make a salad and just relax. Dan's gonna go for a run. I'm gonna rest with Arky and start to feel better and don't feel guilty about not going out and doing everything I wanted to do today because I feel like not great but I'm happy overall just so 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 grateful to just have this little girl in me and be able to talk to you guys about her and say her and she and not they baby like it's just been really difficult oh I'm out of breath but I love you guys, and I'm gonna go make a salad. you like it? Oh my god, I just blew on this as if it was hot. <gasps> mm. The only thing I didn't think about, Dan, when we went to the grocery store was protein. What? We don't have any protein to put in my salad. Wow. It looks amazing. And then buying like chicken or. That's okay. Mmm. Yeah. With the dressing and the chips. Mmm. When you walk into the house, you see the staircase. Let's go up here. <laughs> we just came down. And then the living area with the comfiest couch that exists. First of all, green velvet is so beautiful, but it's so soft and comfortable. I could sleep on this couch. Beautiful That's fireplace, so TV. Why does this Hello. Body? I love this archway. Look at the detail, the molding. We have these really pretty French doors that go outside. They're really pretty wood. My favorite room. I liked the bathtub. My favorite bathtub ever, but look at this. It's just so cozy vibes. I got new spring nails, they're so cute. You can see the molding a little bit better here. This is the kitchen, beautiful fireplace. It's huge, it's so big. I love this in the middle, I think it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with this kitchen. I love the beams. Here is another back door. I need it down. You went around. You went up the loft and then came down. And then outdoor here. A lot of nice outdoor space. I know. I don't have my shoes and it's wet, but they have the French doors from this angle. They have fairy lights, a uh, outdoor seating a area. barbecue shed. And a huge, huge backyard with a creek. The front of the house is so beautiful. I'm going to show you when we go outside. It's Georgian style, which if you know what that kind of house is, it's like one of my favorite looking homes with the columns. It's so pretty. The floors are so old. They just creak. I love it. Like, I love homes like this. Big sink. Oh, I didn't even show this. They have a kitchenette, which is incredible. I love kitchenettes. These stairs lead to this, the loft room. Here, give me George. I'm coming. Or I'm almost there. Mm-hmm. How cute. This looks like some art pieces. Ooh. These are some nice lights. I just want to get down. Okay. 
Why close the stairs? They look. It looks like they closed this off when they did renovations. So this is the main staircase. That's light. Come up here. We have the master bedroom, which hey, Mister is currently being lived in. <laughs> we have a bunch of our crap everywhere. Uh, no, no jumping Big bed. closet. Let's go here. <laughs> nice bathroom. Yeah. Shower. There's a pretty window. And this window looks out to the backyard. There's, this is the stretch for that. Yep. Let's go down these stairs. And up these stairs, there's another bedroom in here, which is quite dark actually, if you have a kid that needs the dark. This is Arkham's room. We actually scooched the bed over to put the mattress on the floor because it was a bit high. There's light. You're right. But um, we didn't want him to fall off the bed. You know, it was kind of high, so. Then if we come out to the front porch, have this beautiful view. And be careful, so messy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing today. I have these overalls that fit the bump. They're so soft and comfortable. I thought they were thrifted because I had a pair of thrifted ones that looked identical to this, but these are actually from Free People because um, I checked the tag. So I'll try to see if I can find the exact ones. I'll link them down below. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna head into town in a few minutes because I made reservations at this breakfast restaurant called Le Perche, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a French restaurant. I they like croissants, cool. cookies, egg stuff. Like they just it's breakfast and although we kind of had breakfast already, this will be our second breakfast, like a hobbit. So let's go. What is that? Are you pretending to hit my head? A bug zapper. Oh my god, wait, that's so cool. <laughs> so come down, Arky. Oh, there's an apple pot too. Oh, we can play music tonight. We got a feast of Mexican food, some chips and guac. We don't have a feast? <laughs> Lots of yummy food. Dan got a massive burrito. I want to try some of these chips. I bet you they're so good. This looks so yummy, Arky. Mmm. Dapper big ball. Mmm. Look how big my thing is. Good morning. It is the next day. I actually slept so well last night. The beds here are so comfortable. It was just like my congestion the first night. But for some reason, it didn't keep me up last night. Like, obviously, you could hear I'm still very congested. But I slept nine hours, which I have not done since before pregnancy because normally I wake up so often to go to the bathroom or I just like have pregnancy insomnia and then we'll like nap during the day. But I napped yesterday and then I slept nine hours. I like feel so good today. I no longer have a sore throat. I am still very congested and I do have a bit of a cough, but other than that, I feel incredible. It's just like the annoyance of the cold now, but I'm excited because we woke up, it was raining, but now it's sunny as you can see by the pretty sunlight outside. And I'm not exactly sure what we have planned. Actually, we, I know we don't have anything planned today, but I had wanted to go check out another town that's not far from here. There's two, there's like the Catskills and then there's Germantown and maybe we'll grab a bite for lunch or go to a cafe or something. And we have dinner reservations tonight in Hudson. So um, it's kind of just a, another really chill day, relaxing. Arky's really in a Peter Pan phase. We've been watching a ton of Peter Pan. The movie from the 2000s, he loves that one. And we just watched Hook this morning, the one from the 90s with Robin Williams. That's like my favorite one. Uh, and he really, really loved it. So we've just been like playing Peter Pan and thinking about Peter Pan all day every day. Um, but yeah, it's a nice warm day. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. So I have on my cardigan from Tomo the label. This oversized white tee is from RW and Co. I'm not sure if it's from their time maternity line or just regular, but anytime I buy a t-shirt, I get it oversized, so it fits my bump well. As for jeans, I have these low 
rise jeans that still fit under my bump really well. They're a few years old from Naked Fashion. I got them postpartum to wear and then in the summer actually I'd wear them high-waisted and I would add a little, I got them off Amazon. They're like these little clips that are meant to add a jean button. You can clip them anywhere. And so I was actually able to make the waist tighter and wear them high-waisted as like super, super baggy jeans. And now I took out that little pin and I can wear them low-waisted. I feel like that was so overexposed. Is this better? <laughs> really soft and comfortable. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you, there's another bathroom in there. There's three bathrooms total in this Airbnb. And they're full baths, either shower or bathtub, so. But I love our cardigan this isn't a size large it's so soft and comfortable and just the perfect knit for all year round because it's thin enough that you can wear it in the spring and then summer in the evenings but it's thick enough that it still works really well in the fall and in the winter so it's just the perfect cardigan knit the perfect color gray you guys know me and my grays and i am obsessed i even was debating wearing this with a really cute dress thrown over like this on top of a dress or I was gonna wear a tank top with a maxi skirt but I felt being casual today I don't know because I don't really know what we have planned and it's a beautiful day and I'm just so happy and me and baby girl are feeling really good she has been moving like crazy like right now I feel like she's like kicking so hard right here and we can actually start to feel her on the outside now which is a little bit later than with Arky because I have a um what is it called is it anterior placenta my placenta is in the front so my OB did tell us that we wouldn't feel her on the outside until a little bit later which was definitely true Although I still felt her on the inside very, very early. So that didn't affect, I know it can affect some women. If you have a anterior placenta. With Arca, mine was posterior, but it was low. I had partial placenta previa, which then ended up like fixing itself. It went up afterwards. This time, placenta is nice and high, perfect position just in the front, which is fine. It's like 50% either in front or in back. Um, it just means that like I couldn't feel her on the outside until a little bit later in my pregnancy, which we feel her all the time now, so it's so fun because getting Arky to feel her, Dan, it's like so exciting now because I feel like for so long it's just like me and now we're all experiencing it and it's just the best and I cannot wait to meet her. We had some breakfast this morning, our cutesy little roses from the gender reveal that we filmed yesterday. I just got them at the um, grocery store because we had happened to see some really cute pink flowers there. This congestion. <laughs> I feel like I have not, I, it's been nonstop colds since the winter. And now we're in the middle of spring, or I guess the beginning of spring. I don't really know, when is spring considered? We had a really mild winter in Montreal, so I feel like it's been feeling like spring for a little bit. Not complaining, I freaking love spring. Yeah, we're gonna get ready to go. And I've been filming like these mini daily vlogs for TikTok, so I don't know if I'm gonna include them in this vlog or if you just wanna go check out what we get up to. It's just easier than bringing this camera around with me because I like to film with my phone, but it's fun. So if you are curious to see what we get up to if I don't include them in this vlog, which I might, I don't know, go check it out. Got this bowl of rocks. This is my big one, this. It's your big rock. Drinks. This is my favorite one, goes fast. It makes you go fast? Yeah. Our pretty house. It's so nice. <laughs> All right, good morning. It is the next day. We, <laughs> we crashed yesterday. Yesterday was tough. Dan started to feel sick. Arky was just not in a mood and I was so tired. We were like, you know what? We ended up going for dinner. We ordered our food. It was so yummy, but we were like in and out within 45 minutes. We were, we were like, we're just gonna take our food to go. We came home, Arkham went straight to bed, passed out super early. Dad and I tried watching a movie and we were like, we're just gonna go to bed. So we went to bed at like 8.30. And then we were up early. I'm still congested. I don't understand how it's lasting this long. And this cough I feel like has been a week. 
it's just one of those things that's so frustrating like we feel fine until the end of the day we're just tired anyways i'm grateful that it's like just a cold and we're not feverish or like fluish or anything like that i keep like touching my belly because she is moving like crazy right now like she oh my god she's like tickling me on the inside this morning is fun i saw a tiktok pop up on my page um of a girl who was trying candy from paul rudd paul rudd's candy shop which i didn't know he had a candy shop and i was like where is that because she said upstate new york and i searched it was like 25 minutes from where we are so i'm like let's go it's a coffee shop slash candy shop so we're gonna go check it out and see what the little town is like and try out some candies. It is definitely chillier today. Two degrees feels like one, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's Celsius. It's cold, it's just above zero. Yes. Would you like me to open it for you? Some, I can't, I think you. I just see what it looks like. Oh, these are the lavender cookies. Oh. I would like one. Mmm. These are what? What are these? It was Graham, al almond. Graham slams. Yeah, it was almond something else. Toffee almond bites. There you go. Yep. Look at these. You want to try one? Uh. Yes. Mm. I can next. Yum. I try like this. Mm. Yeah, they connects. Cool. I'm gonna try a pink one because look, it's little. <laughs> They're hard to bite. Okay, mm. we just went to a toy store and Archie picked this out for baby sister. A little uh, hedgehog. And he got some rocks. They had a pirate bag that you could fill yourself with jewels and rocks. Wow. Uh -huh. All right, we are on our way back from, what is this town called again? Uh, Rhineback? Rhineback. Uh, by far our favorite town. Look, Arkham, there's a little castle here. Oh my gosh. Look here. I guess it's a church, but it looks like a castle. Do you see it? Yeah. Cool. The area is so cute, like all the houses. Yeah, I really like this place. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Beck. That's what's Ryan called. Beck. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that house. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, I, like I would love to live here. Yeah, this area is very pretty. Um, I don't know what it's like to live in this town. I don't know anything about this town. The only reason why we came here was because I saw that TikTok of the candy shop. But I think if we were to come back to oh, New York, we would stay in this town. It's so, it kind of reminds me of the, Hampton, of the Hamptons a little bit. Even the little park we just went to, I saw a sign. It was like a huge nature hiking trail. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, imagine coming here with the dogs. All right, I was just sitting here editing this vlog and I'm gonna end it here because already this video is so long. <laughs> But Dan has actually just been hit hard with whatever this is that we have and he's just on the couch and we're all going to take it easy because we have a drive back home tomorrow so we don't want to be too sick for that. I'm gone wood. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring it and I'm so excited that you finally know that we're having a little baby girl. And we're so happy and excited about it. And I can't wait to start sharing everything when it comes to the nursery and just stuff that we've been accumulating, like clothing wise and just stuff because um, I was getting very girly prints and I didn't want to give that away until we came out with this video. And then on Instagram, I did film something separate for the gender reveal in this kitchen. So I'll post that to Instagram probably the same day that this video goes up. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye.